good morning friends today i came with one topic that is lt interface in this topics i will give you the more details about the lt interface how it is connected in the lt if you'll see in my previous video we have already i have explained about the lt interface but later i have explained the architecture of lt inter interface but here i have given more details about the what is the lt interface okay and uh, and uh, what is the names of all this lt interface you can see here that if you go for an interview they are asking interviewers are going to ask you what is the lt interface okay so lt interface how many types of lt interface is there so you can see here i have given a lot of things about the lt interface that is first one we can go with the s1 mme interface okay that is the lt most important interface here so you can see here what is there this is a reference point for the control parent control between e node b and mab this is the big protocol between e utron and mme if you if you have if you know about the what is e, e utron or what is mme then you can understand why it's so we already i have explained about the e utron and mme in the previous video you can go through this and you can get this all the details here so here before uh, going through this lt interface you have to go through the architecture of lt interface lt if we'll go for through one by one lt lt architecture okay from where to where it is connected so it will be easy for you to understand the lt interface also so next one we can see s1 u interface is there so this is the reference point between e utron and serving gateway sgw for the per barrier user plane tunneling and inter e node b path switching during the handover during the handover this is this uh, interface we are going to use it this is between the e utron and serving gateway sgw next one we can go through the s3 this is s3 enables users and barrier information exchange for the inter 3gpp access and network mobility in idle or active state then it's coming to s4 this is provide related control and mobility support between gprs core and the 3gpp anchor function of serving gateway in addition if direct tunnel is not established it provides the user plane tunneling that is s4 then is for remember you can go through s1 s you can see here for if you want to remember the lt interface it's a very easy to remember you can see here s1 mme so next s1 s2 is not there so you can s3 s4 s5 and then x6 you can see here 6 again you can come 6 7 is not there 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it is very easy to remember you have to remember s1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you have you have to leave that s7 and s2 then you can you can remember very easily that is very easy to remember also here you can see here s4 already i told you about the s4 so you carry s5 provides user plane tunneling and tunnel management between the serving gateway and pd and gateway it is used to serving gateway reloc relocation due to ev mobility and if the serving gateway needs to connect to non allocate non collected pdn gateway for the required pdn connectivity that is s5 so let's come with the x6 a x a enable transfer of subscription and authentication data for authentic authentic uh, authenticating authorizing user access to a evolved system between mme and hss so this is very important if you are going to study about the lt interface first you have to thoroughly you have to go through the lt architecture then you can understand the lt interface easily this s6a interface happens between mme and hss okay then you can go for gx that is gx provide transfer of quality of services policy and charging rules for pcrf to the policy and charging information function that is pcf in the pd pdn gateway that is happens this lt interface happens so a set inter plm and plm and if you have to plm and reference point over providing user and control parent between the serving gateway in the vpl plm and the pd gateway pdn gateway in the hplm and ss s8 is the inter plm and variant of s5 S9, you can see here S9 provides transfer of quality of service, policy and charging control information between the home PCRF and the visited PCRF in order to support local breakdown function. Okay. Then you can come here S10. S10 is nothing but reference point between MME for the MME relocation and MME to the MME information transfer. This is called this is interface used for that MME to MME information transfer. This is S10. Then it's coming LT interface that is S11. That is reference between MME and service. This happens between MME and service gate, serving gateway. S12 happens reference point between 
you turn and serving gateway for user playing tunneling with direct online in the established. It's based on the ALU, GNU reference point using the GTP you can protocol are defined between SGSN and Utron or respectively between SGSN and GGSN. This this is S12. Then you can see here S13, it's enable UE identity check procedure between MME and EIR. And last one is SGI, it is the reference point between the PD gateway, PDN gateway and the packet data network, packet data network may be operator, operator, external public or private private packet data network or internal operator packet data network. Example for provision of IMS services, the reference point are to be correspond to the GI for the 3GPP access. So this I have given you little about the okay, LTE interface basics. So before going to LTE interface, you have to remember your LTE architecture, LTE architecture from where to where it is connected, what is the architecture, where is MME, where is HSS, what is, a, what is MPLM and what is a, E node B, what is E tron? So all all these things, if you understand if through the LTE architecture, then it will be easy to understand LTE in, uh, interface. If you like this video, so please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.